Hello all. Uh, this one's for uh, people that have a laptop or a netbook and they travel a lot and uh, they want to keep their uh, data extra safe. Um, there's a way to do this uh, by using a USB drive and, and uh, the software built into Windows 7 and Vista and I'm not sure XP. I'm, I have to look into that. But anyway, this is Windows 7. So um, we'll go to computer. I'll show you. And I have uh, an Ubuntu installed disk here, which is fine. I don't have to erase any of this. But we're going to change the drive letter. In order to do that, we have to right click on computer and select this manage. And go down to storage and then disk management. Wait for it to load, and here is the uh, the drive letter we had for the uh, USB drive. Um, I'm going to change that to look like a floppy. So we go to change drive letters letter and paths, change, and select A. Now that you're going to get a warning, just accept that, and just give it a second, and now it's changed to A cancel that out. So you can close all those uh, the disk management and all you have to do now is press start press the or hit the win key whatever and just type in SYS KEY or syskey and you see this come up and it's going to give you an administrative prompt so yes. Okay now the encryption is on the computer right now so we want to update it to be on the USB drive or the fake floppy. So you select store startup key on floppy disk which will actually be our uh, USB drive. So you select OK. Make sure it's in so it's inserted. OK. And there we go. One word of warning. Well, several words. Uh, go back to the computer. Is yes, you can see the sys key and you can delete that. Whatever you do, do not delete that if you're using this. So let's try this out. Let's uh, go to the orb and we'll just go to restart. Since I'm using a virtual machine, I'm not going to unplug the USB drive. If I do, I'm going to run into problems. But uh, it should work with it still plugged in, I'm hoping. If it doesn't work, it, it just won't let, let me uh, log in at all. There we go. Security key. Press OK. Give it a sec. Fingers crossed. There we go. And now I have an additional layer of protection along with uh, whatever password you decide to put in. And boom. You're in Windows. Now there's another thing about this is obviously you don't want to use that USB key but I found a kind of a loophole is if I go to uh, advanced settings or system protection if I go to uh, system protection system restore if I go back to an earlier point um, before I created this USB drive it's gonna uh, put the uh, security software authentication back onto the computer so um, I, you have a choice of either disabling system restore or deleting so many restore points that you can't uh, um, bypass that however it works both ways again because if you do lose your key and you do have a system restore point that you can use before you created the key you can get your system back other than that you'll have to format your hard drive and you lose windows and I said this is in extreme cases where um, you're in a situation where there's a lot of people around you're not sure you know somebody could steal your laptop or your netbook and do some nasty stuff with it uh, there's programs out there you can get off the internet that'll just bypass the whole system but this will help you um, now if you don't want this anymore 
we just go back to syskey, S-Y-S-K-E-Y, accept the administrative prompt, update again, and you just go store key locally and press OK. And there we go. Now you can remove your, your uh, USB drive. And we'll do another restart. And it should be back to a normal login prompt. I, um, I'm hoping, anyway. There we go. Okay, so there you go. You can log in normally. But whatever you do, if you want to use this, do not delete that key that's on the USB drive. Don't lose it, and beware of system restore points. So, uh, yeah. And there's another thing uh, I'm going to suggest later that you can do that's uh, a little more foolproof as well, or you can add as an extra later. But anyway, I hope this helps somebody out there that... Uh, travels a lot or in a desktop using a desktop where it's in an environment where there's a lot of people around you might want to uh, look into this so anyway okay um, so thanks for watching as always and uh, we'll talk to you soon and uh, bye for now take care